Hello again team, it's Jess or Jashikarin and welcome back for another video. In today's video I'm setting up something that's a bit new for me and that is a self-care bingo board. I got really interested in doing a page like this when I saw the one that Erin of Erin Flodo Designs did a few months ago. And since then I've been seeing it pop up more and more and I thought, you know what, this is the month, I'm gonna do one too. The general gist of it is that it's a square board, mine's 5x5, five five, that has a variety of self-care items that you complete throughout the month. Some people like to dedicate each column to certain types of self-care, but for mine I just picked 25 things and filled up the board. I felt that this month in particular was a good one to focus on self-care. I normally feel fairly burnt out in the later part of a school term, and especially in term 3. The last day of term 3 is tomorrow, so I am very much looking forward to the holidays. I'm completely zonked. Given that this feeling is typical though, I figure that having a little self-care challenge type page in the form of this bingo board would be a good idea. I tried to think of a combination of self-care ideas that were going to help me both physically and mentally, and so far I have been enjoying checking them off. Not to mention that this is actually Mental Health Awareness Week in New Zealand, so the timing of this video is coincidentally very suitable. <laughs> On that note, as always, I do hope that you guys are well and that you're all taking care of yourselves. With regards to timing for this one, from first touch of the pen to final erasings, this one took about 38 minutes, but of course that doesn't include the time taken to sketch it out and also think of the things that I wanted to fill the board up with. This time was certainly increased by the decoration that I did at the bottom of the page though, so if you were just setting up a page with the board itself, this would take a lot less time. In terms of the questions that were left on last week's video, our first one came from Sylvia who said, I want to start my own bullet journal, but I'm still not sure of what size I'm going for. From all the videos I see, most people use an A5 size journal and they look huge on camera. Does A5 work for you, or would you rather have an A5 plus, or even a B5 size journal? Personally, I quite like the A5 size. I find it big enough to fit everything that I need, but still small enough that I don't get overwhelmed by the amount of space. I also prefer the A5 size as it's easier to carry around when I need to, just because it's a little bit more compact than the other sizes. I know that they do look a little bit big on video, but I know, at least for me, when I position my camera to do my recording, I want to make it so that the journal takes up the majority of the screen. I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So yeah, the A5 journal is my preference, but if you weren't too sure on what size you preferred, I'd recommend buying a cheaper journal in the size you are leaning towards, trying it out, and then at least if it doesn't work for you, you haven't broken the bank on something you don't end up using. Our next question came from Jennifer who asked, which Bujo spreads are your most favourite to fill in, and which ones have been the biggest fails for you? Well, this one's a little tricky because it really depends on the month. For instance, some months I love filling in my steps tracker, and other months I make the design too tedious to fill in and it just becomes a pain. I used to have a really tough time filling in my habit trackers, but now it's one of the ones I'm more consistent about filling in. If the design of a tracker isn't well suited to me, that's when it's most at risk of not getting used. That's happened a few times with things like meal trackers, one-liner day pages, time logging, and the occasional gratitude log. The one that takes the cake though in terms of not getting filled in would have to be my cleaning trackers. They never get filled in. Not necessarily always because I'm not completing my chores, but more often than not that is the main culprit. <laughs> As always, thank you to our inquirers from last week. If anyone had a question they wanted answered in next week's video, please do leave them in the comments below. And having a look at how that page looks now, you can see some of my items I have managed to cross off, but I do still have quite a few to get done before the end of the month. Admittedly, the intention isn't necessarily to get every single one of these things done, but more just to get as many of them as I can because it means I'm taking care of myself. Also, please excuse the piece of paper that I have here. That's just so we don't have any spoilers for next week's spread. Some of these I am planning to have checked off relatively soon, 
For instance, finishing work at 3.30, that one's planned for tomorrow because it's going to be the last day for the term. Vogel and I do have planned to do at-home pedicures this weekend as well, so hopefully that one gets done too. My question for you guys though, if you were setting up a self-care bingo board, what would you put on it? Thank you for watching team. If you liked today's video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanted to see more from me, feel free to go check out one of my other videos. And if you hadn't already done so and felt so inclined, please do consider giving this channel a subscribe. Until next time, bye.